Okay, made some fairly major modifications after thinking about it last night. I wasn't really happy with how it was burning. And I think the main problem is getting air into the back of the chamber. I think that the angled hopper or feed tube or whatever you want to call this thing is a good um, idea for getting your heat deeper into the middle of the whole unit. But I think that its drawback is that the wood, um, you put it in like this, but as it goes down, they all tend to ride the back of the hopper. And, um, and so that back wood doesn't get um, burned. It's the front stuff that gets pulled in. Uh, you get a good fire down in here, but uh, the back uh, doesn't tend to burn. And so then when you were opening this lower, um, this lower valve here, that's great, but that's what causes your, your blowback right out the top. So I've done two things to solve that. And um, so the first thing I've done is this baffle here, which is adjustable, can be placed here, you know, um, and that actually changes my angle now of the actual burn chamber. I've given it a little tab on the back and that just keeps it sitting off the back. Gives me a thickness of about my pinky finger. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, maybe you can. Right. Uh, so I think that's going to force more air straight down. I think that's going to force more air straight down the back and then forward without opening this bottom valve. Um, and this is removable, once again adjustable. Um, and uh, then I've also added this upper, it's not really ground clean or whatever, I'm just, uh, a second upper air intake and this one you can set um, oh shoot I should have shown you with the baffle in okay, so put the baffle back in and this one you can set well that's a bit of a design flaw but you can set it to feed in front of the baffle only if you want, or you could have it feed front and back, I guess if you just pull this thing all the way out. And then this one really should feed behind the baffle only. A little bit of air um, can sneak up the top, and I th I'm hoping might even keep the glass clean a little bit as it goes like this. But, um, of course, it's going to want to go the shortest distance of travel, which is uh, down. And then, uh, also, I just wanted to show you guys my... No, I'm going to take the baffle out. Show you the final grate. So this is the final grate. Um, so it's got uh, two little prongs, and that's keeping some of my larger coals from getting blown forward prematurely. It's kind of holding back the larger stuff. It's also on an angle. So the, the front is higher, my secondary air intake is there, um, just two little tabs on the back just to make it sit just literally like, you know, a quarter inch, not even, up, and then just a little handle to keep the, um, the, uh, the ashes from falling backwards and also just to grab onto as you slide it in and out. So we're going to try and burn it here. Well, this thing has gone from zero to hero. <laughs> um, I've got this valve on the side just cracked. I'm leaving the back one wide open. It's got nothing but a sweet smell and steam coming out of the top. I just dumped in a bunch of dregs and ash and stuff, and you can really hear it rocketing away. And uh, I think this is the way to go. Although initial light up, uh, this back portion acted as almost a little bit of a chimney. But now that I've got the valve set, I 
think I can just light it, shut the lid, and um, it'll take right off. So we'll test that theory out in a second, but I'm getting huge heat off the top. And once again, I think I'm going to leave it at uh, inch and three quarters above the heat riser. Because we're really running hot right now. And that's good. So first off, this thing is performing like a champ. Um, you know, it was working pretty well before, but the um, this back plate um, that feeds the air down through the uh, backside is, I think, the winner. You know, uh, I wouldn't say it was at zero, but it's definitely running at hero now. So. Um, so we're going to give it a little light, and now we're going to go through the gambit, uh, starting with a little diesel so drag, then we'll move on to our um, kindling, and then we'll go to just some uh, whatever cutoffs from the shop, and then we will end on our kind of scraggles, which is um, a little over one inch pieces of cedar that were probably uh, green and growing about five months ago, and some painted two by four or whatever. Else. Um, so, we're going to see how it burns everything. Now, I let it, I've got the valves set um, where it was running perfect before it died. So, I'm not going to mess with the valves. I'm just going to uh, leave them as is. Start it, close the lid, and hopefully it'll just start as is. Actually, I might not be able to fit those long pieces in, so I might have to leave the lid off. But what, either way, it's going to be a good test of a kind of real-world scenario, blah, 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 blah. Okay.
and we're burning cedar with the top right open. And now that it's up to temperature, it doesn't really seem to make a difference whatsoever. So, once again, this thing is sweet. Well, there it is. It took about an hour. It was basically out when I came out. I just threw a couple more sticks in there. It's going again. But uh, it burned for about 45 minutes. Once again, well, it's smoking a little bit. Well, is it though? I don't know. Not really. Sort of, kind of, maybe.